Welcome to the Fans of Fighting Lifestyle UAE. And today we have the pleasure of interviewing Davi Ramos. Davi, welcome to Dubai. Thank you. Would you like to explain to the fans what brings you to Dubai? This is very good here. You know, the, I'm very happy to be here. You know, my first first time I'm stay here. You know, I come here two times for a World Pro. Yeah. But I'm right now is I'm having more time here. It's, it's yeah. Really good. And you're enjoying Dubai. Yes. It's not sure. too hot. Man, so yeah. hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hot. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a pleasure to have you, David. It's a pleasure Thank to have you. Thank you. David, just uh, throughout your career, you've, you've fought and beat some big names and some big guys. And one person that comes to, comes to mind uh, during Grappler's Quest was Jeff Monson. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Monson, yeah. Uh, what would you say your secret is to your success? Is it speed? Is it strength? Is it technique? <laughs> the, I think it's everything together, you know, mm -hmm. but... Uh, I train a lot, you know, for this tournament too, I train a lot, and I think it's, I'm more fast, you know, my style is so fast, you yep. know, and at the same time, the guy don't know right. what you're going to do, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah. And then, uh, I, I think it's, this is my special thing. Right, so you would say your speed is more than... So, yes, so my speed is so... Uh, 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 difference the other yes. competitors, yeah. you know. Yeah, so you're a very explosive yes. athlete, yeah? Yeah, and you My style is very explosive, yes. you know. Right, right. This is, I like I like to fight here. When I train, I train like that, you know, mm -hmm. and then uh, when I I have my physical train, I love to train there, you know. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. because these I'm so explosive, mm -hmm. you know. So even when you're training in the gym, getting ready for competition, you, 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 you're speed and explosive, it's just natural for you yeah. to fight that way. Yeah. yeah, good, good, good. Now, Metamorris, you know, Metamorris is a, a sort of a, a relatively new concept. You know, it's, a, it's new in, in the sense of submission wins only, yeah? As, as you're known throughout your career as a person who hunts for the submission, yeah, you like to go for the submission, you know, you, you go in there. You know, what, what do you feel about this kind of competition as opposed to, let's say, the IBGF and the punt yeah. scoring kind of... I like that, you know. I was my fight, I was uh, uh, my life in Jiu-Jitsu. I, I fight like that, you mm. know. I fight for submission. Yeah. Not, of course, not some other time I, I win to buy mm -hmm. a submission, yeah. but yes. I try, yeah. you know, I try to submission every my fight. Right. You know I, mean? yeah, yeah. I like this style. I like so, the metamorphic style. So you like style. the metamorphic yeah. style of submission yeah. only. Yeah. yeah, I like and this style. And, you know, as a fan, I, I believe there's a lot of fans out there that like that as well. And we like to see you guys going for the submission as opposed to, you know, sort of winning on points and we understand that sometimes you can't always get the submission but you know, it's a, yeah, so you're yeah. happy and you think the metamorous style of submission only competition will grow will there become more of that kind that i kind? think so yeah yeah, yeah. I'm sure yeah sure. good no, i like this style you like and you like that style yeah yeah now there's a uh, there's a there's a you know metamorous four is coming up if you like and mm -hmm. you've got andrea andrea galvia and she'll sonning fighting. Yeah. yeah. What's what's your opinion on, on that? You know, <laughs> and, now, you know, she'll sonning seen as a as a person who speaks quite openly, should we say? Uh, and and there was a comment recently made about you haven't beat anybody unless you've beat Shil Sonnen. You know. How do you think that fight's gonna develop and who do you think's gonna win? No, of course I I I, I won and then I Yeah. I I think is Andre Galvão's win, yeah. you know, but uh, Shelson is so is dangerous to fight with him, you mm -hmm. know, because the, this style, uh, the fight is not a point, you know, and then he's 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 really good guy too. Yeah. He's having good wrestling. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. he's he's American wrestling, you yes. know. Yes. And then uh, he's trained Jiu Jitsu too a lot, mm -hmm. you know. He's yeah. really good, he, yeah. but. Andre is it's a uh, uh, complete, you know. He's he's perfect professional jiu-jitsu. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know, I think 
Andrea's top of the world at the moment, isn't he? You know, he's, he's on his game. He's on his game. But as you see it, you know, he's, still a, he's a DCC champion. Yes. Open class, you yes. know. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's 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 amazing. He's amazing, he's amazing man. man. I tr yeah. I I train with he all the time when I go there. You know, mm. to San Diego. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Then he's a so nice guy. He's love to train. He's training every single day, three times a day. Yeah. Then this is the the difference, you know. Right. right. The champion is the difference. Yeah. And 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 you know, moving on from there, is that what you would say makes the difference? Is that, you know the the dedication that somebody like Andrea puts into his into you know his lifestyle of BGG, you know, training three times a day to become a champion. Is that is that sort of something you have to do? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so just moving on to your M MMA career, you've just recently signed a, a contract with Bellator. So yeah, sure. Congratulations on thank that from, you, thank you. from the guys. And, you know, how long is the contract for? Is it for so many fights? Is it for so many years? It's uh, eight, eight, fight eight fights or uh, two years. Or you know? two years. Yeah, okay. if I yeah, champion the, 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 the tournament, mm -hmm. then I go to the title. Yeah. If I yeah, champion... My contract is the three years. Uh, I I really want to go there, you know, because I, I need to more experience, you know, mm -hmm. to to be fighting in MMA. I have it to just five fight. Yeah. And then I want to more experience for go to the the UFC maybe, you yeah. know. Yeah. But I this is, a, this is a, a big 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 event too. This yeah. is the most mm -hmm. important. This is yeah. good for me. It's very good. Very good it's for very you. Good. Have you got a date and an opponent for your for your first fight in Bellator? Do you, do you know when when that will be? When when will your first fight be? I think it's September. In September. Know? Yeah, my yeah. manager tell me yesterday. I think it's September. Now I try to my visa. You know, mm -hmm. work visa. Then I think it's September. Yeah, so we could, uh, as fans, we could Man, be seeing you. So uh, uh, excited! Yeah, excited! Yeah. Very excited! Yeah, and 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 we are as fans to see you, and it'll be good to see you in the in 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 Bellator and in thank the cage in, in in the octagon in, in September, hopefully. Of course, of course. Yes, very good, very good. As as a fighter known for using the inverted guard and leg locks and ankle locks and uh, which is sort of your style. What, what's your view in, on Torquenio being released from the UFC back in October last year, 2013? For what some people, and it's a little bit debatable, uh, what some people believe he held on to the, 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 the knee bar, I believe, for a little bit too long. You know, what do you think about that as a person who uses these, these techniques? Yeah, I use this. The technique is... is uh, it's really, really uh, easy for the guy escape, you know. Mm. And then you need to try very tight. But I think is that Tokino uh, is a little bit late, you know. Right. Mm. I think so, there, you know. But I think it's not for him, you know. I, I think yeah. it's not for him. Mm. Is the I, I think is the adrenaline. Mm -hmm. me, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this, you know, mm -hmm. but yeah. So maybe it's the referee could have stood in a little bit, a bit sooner, or, or something. Is sort of yeah. Joe. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. So, so you, you know, you don't see it as really being, you know, a problem for you if you like it, as I say, as somebody who likes to use the leg. No, no, no. It wouldn't. No, no, it wouldn't no. prevent you. Let's see in September in your in your fight in Bellator. It wouldn't prevent you from from attacking the legs uh -huh. and, and using them them form of techniques. I tried to do this. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but no, no, no. I I take yes. it off. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of trash talk between fighters on the build-up to a fight, especially in the MMA mm -hmm. fighting world. Uh, do you believe at any time a fighter may overstep the mark, or is it just part of promoting the fight? Yeah, I think it's more promote the fight. You mm. know, I think yeah. he's he's promote the fight. Yeah. It's not to from him. Mm. Yeah, you know, as an example, Davy, you know, you've got somebody like again. We'll use Shil Sonnen as an example. You know, when he fought Anderson Silva, you know, and and there was 
a mention, or it said that there was a mention about uh, about Anderson Silva's wife and about Brazilian people. You know, w would you say something like that was over the mark? You know, would that somebody stepping over the mark when it becomes personal thing against your family, you know, or your people from your country, or is that just selling the fight? Is no, no, man. I think he, he, this is bad thing. You know, yeah. I, 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 I know he's need to promote the fight. Yes, you yeah. know, for. Uh, uh, for the lot of people, mm. okay, but when you put the the, the country, the the the, the family, mm. I think this is different. You it's know? different, I yeah. Think this, yeah. This is different. Yeah. So the, up to up to a certain point, you can sell a fight and and get the yeah. fans interested sure, and sure. promote yourself yeah, as a fighter. Yeah, sure. It's yeah. no problem, yeah. man. It's the fight. It's the yes. show. You know. Yeah, yeah. You need to to promotion for sell the fight. You yeah. know, but yeah, yeah. It's not the but when the it becomes family, family yeah, or whether it becomes. Yeah. The country, the people of the country, that's sort of stepping over the mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is currently a lot of talk about the use of performance enhancing drugs in the sport of MMA and in Jiu Jitsu. What, what's your view on the use of banned substances? And uh, this, this is the most important, I think is the most important when uh, it's not, it's not uh, good for any sport, you know. Mm. I think yeah. this is ideal for the good sport. Yeah. Did the guy fight? It's no need to choose the drug. Yeah. 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 Like that. Yeah. So, it's, and 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 how would you say that both MMA and the IBJJF, you know, how how could they go about and maybe clean clean the sport up if that's yeah. if that's and, the, and MMA. So I have more time, more, more time, you know, I have uh, 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 a long time, you, you, you have a test the drug, yeah, yeah. and then the Jiu Jitsu is, is beginning to, mm. but I like, I like this, this idea. Yeah, yeah, you I know, like and so, so would it would be fair to say that, you know, you, you think there should be more random tests done on athletes? For sure. Maybe they should just turn up and, and do a random test when people are in the gym or, or, or anything like that. Um, you know, what about something like before the competitions on IBGAGF, a, 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 a random drugs test before you stepped on the mat or something like that? Sure. Would that, you know, something like that be possible? Sure. Yeah. Davi, thank you for your time and allowing us to thank conduct you. this, this yeah. interview. Is there anybody you would like to thank? Any sponsors before we conclude the interview? Yeah, sure. Uh, I thank you to my coach, you know, I thank you my team from Brazil, Corinthians. Thank you, Atama, for support me. I thank you, uh, Analytica, for it is my it support me a lot. Yes. You know. Yeah. And then I really thank you to Sheikh Tarek for inviting me to be here. You know, I'll teach for him. Yeah. It's, mm. it's really good. He's an amazing guy. You know, I'm so happy with training with him. Yeah. So happy. Cool. Thank cool. you. And thank you. I thank you so much. Yes, thank you for coming here. Thank you, Jose. From Fighting Lifestyle UAE, from myself, Dari Gamblin, and Tave Ramos, Ramadan Karim. <laughs>